So at its massive annual Snapdragon Summit this year, Qualcomm pulled back the curtain on the new Snapdragon 865 platform, their clever chipset that will power most of the big Android smartphones launched in 2020. I got the chance to go hands-on with a test device running the Snapdragon 865 to play some big games and benchmark the ruddy heck out of that brand new platform. Now as a quick little side note here, benchmarking of course just tests a fraction of a platform's abilities, basically the CPU and the memory and occasionally the GPU as well. Its usefulness is debatable, especially as these factors can be gamed to some degree, but for a quick and dirty performance comparison they basically do the job. Now unsurprisingly the fresh new Snapdragon 865 performed really really well in the benchmarking. With Antutu it scored a whopping 542,781. That defeated 99% of other devices for the CPU and the GPU performance. However Qualcomm has also built a performance mode into this test device which makes the CPU activity look 20% heavier than it actually is. So for instance a core working at an 80% limit will appear maxed out to the device and therefore the chipset really kicks into action and ramps up the performance. I found that on this device with performance mode activated, the Antutu score was even better, 551,861, so an increase in almost 10,000 points. However, most of the other benchmarks that I tried out weren't really swayed by that performance mode. So for instance, Geekbench churned out a score of 926 for a single core score, 3,417 for the multi, and that didn't really change with the performance mode active. I also did some GFX benchmarking as well, like some Manhattan 3.1 churned out a score of 3,049, while Car Chase churned out score of 1648, both of those at their 2678 by 1440 resolution. And then to run off a fun afternoon at Benchmark and I had just enough time to run some 3D Mark tests as well. This spat out a score of 7131 for the OpenGL version of Slingshot Extreme and a 6626 score for the Vulcan version. And it's also important to point out that the Snapdragon 865 test device remains cool as a frozen cucumber the entire time I was benchmarking. I didn't see any real uplift in that internal temperature, which is definitely reassuring if you're going to be PUBG in it all day long. And while I was at the Snapdragon Summit, I also got a chance to see the Snapdragon 865's gaming prowess in action and go hands on with some demo titles showcasing those trousers stirring new features. This here pinball style game showed off the impressive motion blown and depth effects that you can expect your Snapdragon 865 smartphone to pump out on a regular basis. Background elements are blurred out neatly, so the focus remains squarely on that shiny ball of yours as you roll it about the place. And when it picks up a bit of speed, you really get a feel for that pace thanks to the motion effects. You'll also notice the detailed lighting effects as well as the ball spins about the place reflecting the light as it goes. The Snapdragon 865 can handle multiple light sources without breaking a sweat. Another impressive feature is the true to life reflections as well as demonstrated right here. You get a proper mirrored image with those same blown and lighting effects thrown in as well. And I also checked out a Fortnite demo which showed off the Snapdragon 865 snazzy game color plus feature. And this boosts those in-game visuals so SDR images are scaled to HDR level with super vibrant hues to really bring those cartoony graphics to life. Every colour was pumped up and truly stunning to look at. And the good news is this effect can be automatically applied to all of your titles as well. Plenty of other gaming demos were also available to check out at the Snapdragon Summit, again showing off some of those impressive desktop quality graphics. Those light effects really are truly stunning, added buckets of atmosphere and a touch of realism to those mobile titles. It's definitely exciting stuff and I really can't wait to check out these effects more fully when the first lot of Snapdragon 865 smartphones hit the market in early 2020. And that right there is a quick look at how the Snapdragon 865 platform from Qualcomm will provide some serious game and grunt for your Android smartphones in 2020. And for more on the latest to greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers!